Tonight's big story, what made him fire? That's the question tonight as Milwaukee police investigate the shooting death of a 13-year-old boy. The shooter, the boy's 75-year-old neighbor. He's in custody tonight. This all happening near 20th and Orchard on Milwaukee's south side. And that's where we find Jenna Sachs. She's live on Arrow Street. That's where the shooting happened. Well, neighbors say the elderly man was well known in their community. They say he'd lived there for some time and was often seen walking his dogs. But they say he had been upset recently about some break ins at his house, something he blamed on his new next door neighbors. He's been worried about his property. He put cameras up. Neighbors say the cameras outside 1909 West Arrow Street are newly installed. They say the 75 year old man who lives there was recently robbed. He put cameras up. Because they were the police were by his house last week. Yeah, yeah. they broke two windows actually. He yeah. told me because he was talking to me. I always talk to him. There's broken window glass in the alley next to his home. Police say it appears the man confronted his 13 year old neighbor, then shot him in the chest. It's very painful for the it family. It has to be very painful because he's he's a minor. He's a kid, and you know nobody as a parent would want their kid to. I just feel you know, sorry for the mom because I know she probably thought he's at school or something. Wanisha Williams answered the door at the teen's house and says he is Darius Simmons, the brother of her boyfriend. I was asleep until I heard gunshots and I ran downstairs and I saw the, the um, man walking up and down the street with a gun. The teen was taken to Children's Hospital and has died. Williams says he was like a little brother to her. He was a sweet guy. He nice. He, when you ask him to do stuff, he'll do it. His elderly neighbor is in police custody. The suspect stayed on the scene and. Uh, turned himself into the uniformed officers when they pulled up. The man gave his gun to police. Police say the teen was not armed and they do not believe the Castle Doctrine will be a factor in this case. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Jenna Sachs, Fox 6 News. And I assume police are not saying exactly what led up to the shooting moments before it, or are they? They have only said that there was a confrontation between that elderly man and the teenager. Neighbors are the ones who are filling in the blanks, saying they believe it was because of an, a burglary at that man's home recently. Okay, well, maybe we'll find out soon. Jenna, thanks so much. One person is dead.